Town. Thanks for joining us. The board passed the measure five to two, and a lot of district parents are not happy with the decision. Stephanie Johnson joins us tonight with more parent reaction to the board's decision. Stephanie. Yeah, Janae, Ankeny parent Katie Christensen says she was upset by the board's decision to reinstate mask wearing for students. She attended last night's meeting and says she's not the only parent disappointed by the board's decision last night. It is clear in the past year and a half that mitigation efforts have failed. There's more unmasked people in here than there are masks, and only masked people come when they're summoned. Now, tensions were high last night at last night's school board uh, meeting as school board members voted to reinstate mask wearing. Christensen says she's disappointed by the board's decision because masks are uncomfortable for her daughter. The mother says last year her five-year-old contracted a bacterial infectious disease while in preschool, which led to surgery. Now, Christensen plans to file a religious exemption because she says masks irritate her daughter's scar from surgery. For my daughter to go to school without a mask, we will just file a religious exemption because at this point it is um, deeper than just a medical decision. I do believe that masks are, they are medical device as listed on the CDC website. Um, but for us, it is a religious belief that we believe that we have the right to choose these things and uh, we're going to decline. Now, under the district's plan, return to learn plan, parents can file a religious exemption if, quote, it is in fact religious and not based merely on philosophical, scientific, moral, personal, or medical opposition to factual coverings, end quote. Janae. All right, and that mask mandate, Stephanie, when does it go into effect? Tomorrow. Okay, so time's running out. Thanks a lot, Stephanie.